Featherstone Rivers 44, Bradford Bulls 18, Cody a dominant win. Yeah, in that first half we really blew them away early and um, got got up to a good score in that first half and kept them to nil and we were real happy and then the second half we let ourselves go a little bit, we weren't, we weren't best pleased with that second half performance but over Easter picking up a, a good win like that against Bradford, is you got, you got to be happy. Yeah, it was a good win. I think we let ourselves down a little bit in the second half. We um, went in at half time 38 0 up. Um, I think we let them off the hook a little bit. We, we should have put, we should have kept the pressure in the second half, but we um, let them off a little bit and let them score a few tries. Um, we were a, bit, a little bit disappointed at the end. James, 100 games for Featherstone Rovers, and you've celebrated that with a win against the Bradford Bulls. Yeah, it's uh, nice to get a win against a full time side, and I thought we were good first half. I thought they're only one team in it and we just um, let ourselves down a bit in the second half and got a bit sloppy and turned ball over too much but yeah, nice to get the win. Yeah, it was nice to get a bit of a bit of game time to be honest. Um, it's been a bit frustrating being on the sidelines but um, I've start, started training in last week, full training so it's nice to be able to um, get a game. I think there's still a lot for me to, to improve on. I'd, I'd, I don't think I've, I've been that as good as I can be. I think there's a lot for me to improve on and then that, like I say in that second half I weren't happy with myself at all. First half went good and then in that second half I, I, I didn't do a great deal and, and I've had a chat with John Sharp and he wasn't best pleased with me either so um, I'm sure there's, there's a lot that I can improve on and, and work on which which I'm, I'll, I'll look to do. What was the message from John at half time? Just that we were playing well and keep doing what we are doing and keep rolling them up middle and uh, completing our sets but we went away from that and turned ball over too much and let him back in it, give him a sniff. I think he just wanted us to. I think the main thing he wanted was um, to keep him at zero, which we obviously didn't do. It would have been nice to a pile of pressure on again in the second half and keep them to zero. But like I say, we let ourselves self down in the second half a little bit, which was a bit disappointing. Do you think maybe there was an element of fatigue in that towards the end of that second half? Uh, yeah, I do. But they, they had a game as well, didn't they? That was their second game. But yeah, I think there were a few tired people towards the end. But I think we just got <coughs> just a bit sloppy, like and started turning ball over. I don't know. I don't know if it was a bit of complacency with 38 0 up. Um, I don't know. It's 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 not hard to keep when you're 38 and up to carry on with it. But um, it's sometimes it's uh, a bit psychologically. If you're in a tough battle, you're more on it when uh, in the second half it's tough. Whereas we're winning 38 nil, it's it's hard to keep your concentration sometimes. Okay, was a physical game on on Friday, and we were in there for 80 minutes, and and that's definitely going to take its toll. And um, so it's got to be down to fatigue and, and a little bit of. Um, you know, a little bit of, of dumbness. We we weren't smart at times. Like we had we had 11 men or t 12 men on the field, and, and then we're not completing sets, which is which is a bit of a killer for you when you're down to 12 men. So a little bit of that sort of stuff that we weren't too happy about. We we're talking in that first half about how easy it must be for you to fit in when you're coming off the bench, as opposed to some of the other late players, because you know the systems are in place already. Yeah, it does. It makes it a lot easier. I'd, when we're not been here for five or six weeks, it's. Uh, I've got to get used to two calls. Obviously, when I were here yesterday, in the last team run, I forgot a few of the calls. But you pick them, yeah, you pick them up pretty quickly. I've been here a couple of years, so yeah, it's, it helps massively. Uh, break from the league next week. We've got um, Oldham in the Challenge Cup down here. Already played them once already this year, so you know what to expect. Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Well, I think we only just won it last time by two points down here, and uh, they're not a bad side, Oldham, and it'll be a tough game. And I don't think there's any easy games in this league now, so it'll be. Uh, when we've got to roll our sleeves up and just um, get out of the way and get the win. Last time we played Oldham here, it was a bit of a mud bath I played that game. It was a really tough game, I think we just won by one or two points. Yeah, as I say, it was a really tough game, so hopefully it'll be a bit, the ground's hardened up a little bit now, so hopefully it'll be a little bit different and uh, we'll get over the line a bit easier.